trucking adventures with the big bad wolf this is dave here getting ready to pick up a load in redbud illinois just check the radar and so far so good i don't see any rain snow hurricanes or any of that crap going up that way so it should be a good trip redbud's a pretty cool little old historical town which you'll see in the video uh, before we do that we have to go to the yard and pick up a trailer as you can see i'm bobtailing it should be about an hour trip, but there's there's going to be a 15 minute pre-trip inspection once I hook to my trailer. We'll be on our way. trip inspection is complete and now I just have to report to dispatch what trailer I have and I will be on my way to Redbud Illinois to I want you to meet my boss this is Mito I think of him like a brother hell of a good guy that's and, me and uh, doing this for almost 33 years it'll be 33 years this June I've never had a better boss and I'm not just saying it because he's here with a gun <laughs> <laughs> hello guys if you guys have any, any experience, call call David. Yep, we'll yep. keep you guys busy. Right on. All right. Yeah, you can't you can't be a fuck <laughs> up like I am. <laughs> <laughs>
ready to go to the park and go potty? You ready? You gonna go pee pee poop? Alright, come on. Let's go pee pee poop. I'm gonna walk Rebel over here to this park. And I was asked to not shoot anything from the inside of this place, which I completely understand, and I told him I would not. It's just a vlog. I guess people see a camera, they can't help but wonder what the hell you're doing. Look at that old house right there, that's pretty cool. Redbud, Illinois. What do you hear? You hear some noises? We gotta go through the gate, Rebel. Let's go to the gate, baby. wherever the hell the doggy wants to go I guess and right now he's wanting to go over here to the park oh look rebel there's a there's a couple trails rebel you want to go on the trail he's going to the trail there's there's a trail right there and over there you want oh you got to do your business let's not put that on camera nobody wants to see that all right here you go up on the trail so we're gonna go over here and check out this trail and see where it takes us I've never been on this trail I've been to this place about oh if I had to guess six or seven times easy but I've never once been on the trail so I don't know how far it's gonna go that we'll find out here in a minute looks like there's people over there oh there's a park over there okay cool I wonder if this was here before because I sure don't remember it And I've walked the dogs over here before. Well, not in here, but I've, I would have noticed this, I would think. Of course, I don't notice everything. I miss a lot of stuff. Look at there, a little swamp. What you smell? What you smell? Oh, you're going to eat the grass? You're going to get sick. Don't eat that. You don't know what your, where that grass has been. That grass could have been somewhere. You just don't know. You can't always expect to get the best grass. I'm telling you. This is pretty neat. So I'm picking up right over there in that beige building. I guess that's beige. And here's the park. Look at this little old creek. Never been down here. That's pretty nifty. You want to see what's over here? Rebel diddle do. It would be a lot neater if there was a garbage in it, but it's still pretty nifty. I imagine that sucker's been here for eons. We're gonna walk over here and see what we can discover. You coming, Rebel? Come on, buddy. What do you see? You see more grass? Don't eat it, it's not good for you. Come on, let's go over here. Let's go over here. I wish I could put you on that merry-go-round. Oh, this is a nice little park. Okay, I'll have to remember this. I've never walked over here. Never. There's my boy. There's my boy. What are you doing? this way little boy let's walk up this way and then we got to get back to make sure that we're there when they're ready to send us on our way an hour and a half easy to get the load and get the hell out of there but they are pretty quick that's quick for what they do but we're just gonna walk around a little bit and then I'll head back and see where we're at on the load 
And I am going, oh, look at this. It looks like a little jail over there, but there's a bird in it, it looks like. Nope, that's a bird on it, not a bird in it. Okay. Jailbird. <laughs> what the shit? Okay, so there's a cemetery, it looks like, up there. I'm going to have to go see what that's all about. Yeah, I've never been to this place, ever. I've been by it, never in it. That's a jail. And it looks like a real jail. I'll be dipped. <laughs> I wonder what the history on that is. It's definitely seen better days, and I wouldn't want to walk in there. There's a spider web right there. Let's go see the cemetery, Rebel. You can go up here, buddy. You're not allowed to pee-pee on any headstones. I just want to see what it looks like. Redbud is really cool. I can't see where that says, but they died October... Uh, what does that say? Does that say October 4th? I think that says October 4th, 1876. Huh. Very old. Let's go back. Old swings there, rebel dog. Don't eat nothing, buddy. You getting your little exercise? Oh, this is nice. Get out and stretch my little legs. I don't know that I want to get on that thing. This is fun. Ooh, this is a lot of fun. Yay. And this is a lot of fun. Have you just about had enough of this crap? All right, let's go back to shipping. I can, I can see it now. They're gonna say, "Where were you?" Oh, we were over in the park swinging. <laughs> I wouldn't be lying. Where are you going? Careful, there could be snakes. Ah, 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 ah. Let's go over here. Come on. No, no, no. We're not getting into the brush. We're not doing the brush. Yeah, I can see it now. I'd stick his little nose in there, and a copperhead would be like, "Hmm, snack." We don't want that. Do we diddle do? I think we're gonna go back here and I'm gonna make a coffee and just chill for a bit. Okay, so I'm walking up this trail and talking to the camera, but I forgot to turn the damn thing on see I told you I'm new at this and rebel stuck his little nose in some weeds and I had to pull him away because I was afraid a copperhead might bite down on his nose thinking it's just some kind of a snack for snakes where are you going now don't get in it man rebel dog let's go this way buddy I have to report back to shipping just in case. Come on, let's go this way, sweetie. Come on, Rebel Dog. It's just so pretty out here. Come on, bud. Let's go. There's my truck. And we're back at the truck. It's a beautiful day for a walk. I wish we had more days like this because I could definitely use them. I, I don't feel like walking in the rain or snow and you know, I shouldn't use that as an excuse, but it is a convenient excuse, so I do use it. But hopefully we have some good days coming up and I can keep doing this because I feel a lot better. How do you feel, buddy? You got some water down there? Looks like you got some water. Yeah, you got water, good. I'm gonna need some water. I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. I'm waiting for these guys to give me my paperwork. I don't think they've got me loaded yet, even though the light is green. I'm gonna go check.
to a rest area not real far from Muncie, Indiana, and I gotta take little Rebel Dog out to go potty. He, he's been crossing his legs for about an hour now, so time to take my little boy out to go potty and stretch his little legs. I'm not gonna delay this. He's like tapping me right now, saying, "Let's go." There he is. You see? He's serious. He's like, "I ain't fooling around. I want, I want to go potty." All right. We're gonna walk over here real quick. Yeah, it looks like a good place right over here. Let him go potty. That's gonna be it for today. Tomorrow we still got we still got about I don't know three or four hours of driving to do yet. It's a full rest area. There was one spot open when I got here, and I took it. There it is, right there, that green truck. And there's more parking on the other side, but well, there's no parking available, but yeah, this this rest area is full. There were trucks parked on the ramp. In fact, over here, there's there's trucks parked behind trucks. Well, I guess that was a false alarm. He didn't have to go potty after all. He just sniffed around and you know how dogs are. That's what it is. He didn't go potty after all, did he? Just wanted to sniff everything. What's that look about? You mean you do have to take care of some business? Anyway, I guess we're gonna go to bed and tomorrow we got some more driving to do. Let me see, I still have three hours and 22 minutes approximately to get to the destination around Ohio. So I still got, it says 213 miles. So it's, I don't know. That's not super accurate, but it's pretty close. I do have to stop to get fuel. You know, I wish I could say I slept good, but I didn't. I heard too many noises, trucks running past me and Jake breaks and all that nonsense. Every time I wake up, it takes forever to go back to sleep. So, man, I just hope I can put it together today. It happens from time to time. But, uh, yeah, I woke up and I thought, damn, I need to take a melatonin so I can sleep through this stuff. And then I got thinking, well, if I do that, I'm going to be tired all day tomorrow, too. So, either way, it is what it is. It's part of the business. Um, I just took my little boy out for his potty. And he just had his breakfast cookie. Didn't you? You had your breakfast cookie, and it was the best. Oh, don't tell me you want another one. Look at that belly. Yeah, you don't need another breakfast cookie. You would like to have one, but you don't need one. <laughs> Okay, so this is my setup. Look at this. Getting ready to make my coffee. Organic coffee beans. Got my grinder here. This paint brush is to scoop the, the grinds out because they, they tend to stick to the grinder. And uh, you're asking what's the apple cider vinegar doing there? Well, some of you might be saying that and some others might be like, hey, I know what he's going to do. Yeah, I do uh, intermittent fasting. I, I should say, to be honest, I was doing intermittent fasting, and now it's been probably a month since I've done it, but I know I need to. I drink the apple cider vinegar. I do uh, two tablespoons, and I add water because it's just nasty, nasty shit, so I guess you get to see that fun part. Oh, that's horrible. Ugh. Ugh. That is nasty. Okay. Two tablespoons. Let's see, where the hell's that at? Right, right where my thumb stops on the glass. You don't have to do that much. Uh, that's the max they say you should do. Well, some people probably do more than that, but according to, I don't remember where I saw that. <clears throat> said between two teaspoons and two tablespoons per day, so. I'm going with the bigger dose, the two tablespoons. Like I said, I gotta have some water in there to dilute it a little bit, but it's still pretty horrible. If you've never had it, I don't know that I suggest you do it.
I made it to the receiver, fine and dandy, on the other side of this big ass building here that you see. Um, they came out and told me I had to go to this side of the building, but when I got to this side of the building, the only docks I see, you can't back up to them because they got that rebarb. Uh, they haven't even poured the concrete to drive on, but the rebarb has crossed the ground and gravel, so couldn't back up to that. I did see a, a man out here that I talked to and he's going to go see if he can find somebody. So right now I'm sitting tight, but can you believe it? I just backed this truck up from all the way around. I'm talking not just this curve you see here, but it extends way past this building and then it curves again. And er, yeah, it was, <laughs> I can do it. I don't like to do it, but I can do it. Um, so hopefully they'll get over here and get me set straight so we can get this off. Yeah, to show you what I got. Right next to the big old lake, just over that way, over those trees. That's what I've got on. It looks pretty much like this stuff right here, I would say. It looks a lot like that. And I was looking for a dock. Now, there are docks over here. Let me show you those docks. Oh, and I need a hard hat. Oops. I better go get a hard hat. Damn. Now you can see these are the docks that they're building, but I can't back that truck up here because they got the rebarb on the ground. So that's a no-go. So I'm just waiting for somebody to show up so they can unload me. Right there. In the middle of every damn thing. <laughs> it's a big place. You have to... I mean, it's, it's probably two blocks long, this place is. At least. Rebel says he's got to go potty while we're waiting, so... Here we go. You don't have a hard hat, Rebel. Whatever are we gonna do? Oh, there we go. We got somebody unload me now. Let's go over here and go potty. Right there's good enough. Go pee poop. You don't need me to move or anything, do you? No, okay. Oh, okay, good. Mission accomplished. Thanks for joining. Tune in next time for more trucking adventures with the Big Bad Wolf and me, your host. Oh shit, the guy with the jacket that's freezing to death. together.